I'm pretty sure that you've probably recognized this already, but one of the benefits of having these ones gameplays at my disposal is that I have the opportunity to take a look at the rest of the NHL, take a look at news, take a look at stories, and say, you know what? That topic right there, that's a pretty interesting topic. I think I could definitely spew out some thoughts on that. But if it's a small topic, like some of the things we cover in these kinds of videos, it's not like I'm taking a look at this stuff and saying, darn man, that's another 10 minute full length commentary. Nah, that's not really what this is about. Today we're talking about a few small stories that I saw relating to the Vancouver Canucks. First off, it's the unfortunate departure of Josh Levo yet again, and how it's honestly kind of sad. And secondly, we also have Oliver ekman Larson and how the Vancouver Canucks honestly dodged a bullet there. So first off, we're going over Josh Levo. There was an interview he did yesterday with Sportsnet 650. Let's just go over some of the quotes over here as tweeted on their Twitter account. The Flames throughout the years have been trying to get me. They were the first ones to call when free agency opened, so it felt right for me to sign with them. The Canucks and I didn't really come to what I was expecting. I am sad to leave. They showed a lot to give me the opportunity to play. I think it was just time to try a new road. It's been a long road to recovery, but the knee is feeling great now, taking it day to day. I'll fly to Calgary tonight and start skating with everyone then. It meant a lot for Travis Green to give me a shot and play me with everyone. And yeah, you know, these are just four quotes over here, but at the end of the day, it is still somewhat of a sad departure for Levo, because he was a guy that a lot of Canucks fans saw a boatload of potential in, myself included. I said this in the video a few days ago, but if you can play this guy to the best of his ability, if he's healthy, I could honestly see him hitting 15 goals in a year, and that is not something that you would say is a price tag of sub $1 million for one year. That's definitely worth a lot more than that. So even though the Calgary Flames were the team that was trying to go after Levo hardball over the past few years, it still is somewhat of a sad departure nonetheless because of the opportunities that the Vancouver Canucks gave Levo, so I'm gonna wish this guy the best. Next up though, we have ourselves Oliver ekman Larson because there was an interview done earlier this week over by Ronnie's Skivers Media, really did not pronounce that correctly, Talking about Oliver ekman Larson and the overall trade scenario, let's read about this stuff here together. He signed with Arizona until he's 36 years old because he wanted to play there until he was that age. When the trade rumors appeared, it was an awkward situation for him. He had never been in that situation before, and it was tough mentally. He had a no-trade, no-movement clause in his contract, and he picked the Bruins and the Canucks because he did not want to stand in the way of the team in case they felt like they needed to move him. That's the person he was. He wanted to put them down as alternatives, even though he really did not want to move. He then talks about how he wants to stay in Arizona, he is happy that he didn't get traded and that he's staying in Arizona, and that he wants to make the playoffs and all that, and that there is a good future for the Coyotes. And so, even though the Vancouver Canucks really did try to go in there, we gotta give Jim Benning the props for at least not biting on what the Arizona Coyotes would have wanted, because at the end of the day, we know the story. The Coyotes wanted to trade this guy, but he had a no-move clause in place, and he was like, you know, I would rather just stay, but if you really want to trade me, here you go, here are some teams. Honestly, I like that a lot. Nice showman of leadership over there from the captain of the Coyotes, but at the end of the day, I'm happy the Canucks dodged the bullet and the contract that would have come with an ekman Larson trade. So talk to me in the comments what you think about these topics that we enjoyed. This is Rizal Rose 99, and bye.